Over the weekend, police arrested Occupy participants in a number of cities. In Washington, D.C., law enforcement moved in on McPherson Square after occupiers made progress on construction of a barn-like shelter. Although some activists climbed on top of the wooden frame to try to save it, police used a cherry picker and inflatable cushion to get them down. The wooden frame was torn down, but tents remain. Police arrested more than 30. In Portland, Oregon, riot police arrested more than a dozen people attempting to reestablish a new encampment. A handful of people were arrested in Nashville, Tennessee, and Bowling Green, Ohio. And following a 24-hour-long Occupy Broadway event in New York City, several hunger strikers were arrested twice within 12 hours, according to the Village Voice. They're trying to pressure a downtown church to let them use a vacant lot to serve as the new location of Occupy Wall Street. In California, Occupy San Francisco and Oakland are turning their attention to the housing crisis. On Saturday, Occupy San Francisco marched through neighborhoods condemning banks and landlords that exploit homeowners and renters. This week, Occupy Oakland will do the same. In Santa Cruz, protesters with the group Occupy Everything ended their four-day-long occupation of the Wells Fargo Bank building. They had hoped to turn the space into a community center. FSRN's Judith Scher has the story. Santa Cruz police in riot gear came to the occupied Wells Fargo building on Wednesday, but left without attempting to dislodge occupants when some 180 supporters showed up. But by the weekend, activists decided on a different course of action, fearing a possible eviction by police. A man who gave his name as Bishop participated in occupying the building. We we made a decision. We were like, okay, uh, the safety of our people is more important than this one particular building. We can we can go find another place. You know, the, the occupy that that particular action is occupy everything, which is different from occupy Santa Cruz. And so the occupy everything uh, group decided that they can just go occupy something else. But some see this as a lost opportunity, including activist Danica Defoy, who said she had been in and out of the occupied building. Well, you know, the bank was vacant for, I think, about three years. It is a former, um, like I said, bank property. And it is a need for a community center in this area, as well as it already being a a homeless sleeping spot. She said having to leave the building will not kill the idea behind it. But I think, really, there's an idea here that you can't kill. And if you try to, you know, the people trying to move us may not understand that. But we've gotten into people's brains and woken them up, hopefully. And... I think, too, for the first time, some people are really seeing their neighbors, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Those who took over the bank building acted independently of Occupy Santa Cruz, which is directly across the river and home to about 100 tents. Meanwhile, another Santa Cruz group spent Saturday turning a privately owned lot that had been vacant at least 20 years into a community garden. About two dozen people spent the day cleaning up and recycling trash, building garden beds, and planting native plants and fruit trees. According to the group, police were nearby for a holiday event, but did not disturb the work. Judith Scher, FSRN.